Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another episode of Rocket Vlogs. In this video we are going to be making external fillets on the old 5 inch Punisher. I'm going to show you guys uh, the way that I make these. Um, it's again another process I've been working on for a long time. I have a bunch of rockets I need to make fillets for. So uh, we got our uh, internal fillets all done. They're very uh, dry and very stout, which is what you want I guess. Makes a lot of sense when you're gonna fly a high power rocket. Um, I'm gonna let the garage heat up a little bit because it's pretty cold outside. My parents thankfully have a heated garage. So while that's heating up, I'm gonna go find a way to entertain myself and then we will come back to this shortly. All right, so if you look from uh, the back half of the body tube to the front, you can see a difference in the shininess. That's because that is all thinned out epoxy from uh, wiping it down with acetone after doing the internal fillets. So, if you guys remember from the uh, first few videos on this series, the uh, foremost of importance with building a high power rocket, especially a fiberglass one, is having a very well prepped bonding surface. So, we're going to uh, move my fillet box and take this back on down to 80 grit. It's a pretty repetitive process. I'm just gonna do the rest of them. You guys get the idea. I have some rubbing alcohol. All right, so obviously this is a fairly large rocket. And what I like to do for big rockets is uh, we use chrome sockets, get our fillets the way we want them. And then, uh, what I do is I plot them out pretty profusely with masking tape. So I'll just do it and then show you guys what I mean. So I eyeballed it pretty good there. I pulled this piece back up just so I could uh, make sure it's flat. There we go. All right, garage door's open, so sorry for the weird lighting, but uh, I like to tape off the back pieces too. Leave a little room for the fillets so we can shape them nicely, just in case any epoxy decides to go rogue. And I'll also put one up front. There you go. Now let's go mix epoxy. All right, quick supplies run down. Denatured alcohol. I talked about this in the last video, but we didn't have any. We had acetone. Acetone works fine. Denatured alcohol works the best for just cleaning epoxy up. It doesn't do this, just thin it out and spread it all over everything. It actually just like completely destroys it. It absorbs it, I don't know, breaks it down. Denatured alcohol evaporates really quickly. I'm not a scientist, I don't know how it works. I just know that it does. Wet Systems 406 Colloidal Silica is what I'm mixing into the epoxy to get it to the thickness I want. Um, thickness is up to you. I like it to be a little tiny bit runny so that I'll know it's going to settle out a little bit more after I'm done with it. That being said, um, when you do internal fillets and you have the holes in the airframe from doing them, you don't want the epoxy so thin that it's going to run inside the holes. And then uh, if it goes in, that's not a big deal since you already have fillets in there but then you're going to have uh, some nice lulls in the shape of your fillets. The nice thing about West System is that it takes so long to dry that you have a lot of time to really mess with it and get things where you want it to go. Um, so I, I actually have no clue how much epoxy I'm going to use. Um, I'll probably start with three pumps or maybe four and we'll go from there. If I need to make more, I'll make more. Um, I'll show you the consistency. I like to get it to, what I'm going to do is put denatured alcohol in this little container here, and then we're going to dip our socket in it and use that to pull and smooth out our fillets. So I'm going to put some gloves on, open this up, pour that in, and uh, yeah, let's get started. If you're going to use West Systems and West 406 filler, just beware that it is very uh, snowy. It's really easy to get everywhere if you mix it too fast. So just kind of go kind of slow and get everything wet before you start really blending her up or you're going to get it 
absolutely everywhere. A consistency term a lot of people use when making this stuff is peanut buttery. Um, I make it a little bit less than what I'd call peanut butter consistency. Still pretty thick, but I like it to run a little. All right, once you get it where you want it, obviously you want all your filler mixed in properly. I think this should be enough for both sets. I should have asked my dad what he used for the stinger. Very similar size fillets. There we go, that's what I like. Right there. So I'm going to uh, carefully droop it into our uh, fillet cavity, I guess. Get a little bit at the front here. Then what I like to do is kind of run it through and try and kind of evenly distribute the epoxy. We've got a lot in the back here. Oh, don't want that. It's a little too much. Now, what we're going to do, take our big old socket, dip it in our denatured alcohol, and we're going to start right here and kind of twist it and then keep the front end up and pull it down along our fillet. And boom, there you go. West system's taking so long to cure is we could always throw more epoxy at that and just run over the top of it with that socket one more time, try and get it closer to where we want it. I'm not, not convinced I need more at this very moment, but we'll see what this one looks like. Smooth this out a little. It always helps to kind of have it uh, fairly evenly distributed. And then let's grab our socket give this side a quick uh, run over. Let me grab a paper towel. Wipe the excess epoxy off back into the denatured alcohol. And same thing, pull it up over the edge. down around the back side a little bit. Those look pretty, pretty consistent. I think this side's a little bit more. Yeah, there's a little more epoxy on that side, but that's okay. Like I said, we can go back and balance that out. So we'll take the excess off from the other side. Pop it right there. On the other side, when you start running uh, low on epoxy, I like to get it stuck to my fingers. Just uh, siphon as much out as you possibly can.
they're pretty pretty even in size it might even just me uh, doing my thing where I get super paranoid about making sure everything is correct because the uh, old socket there should do a pretty good job of uh, pushing out all the extra epoxy but uh, just to be certain that we're fairly consistent we're going to run over the top of this one once again so same thing swirl it around the denature alcohol wipe her off drop it on the floor wipe it off again then back into the denatured alcohol you don't want it dripping just shake it off a little bit same story start in the corner pull it up run it all the way down the length of the fillet and then down and around the back corner still a lot came back out so but yeah those look pretty dang even I'm actually super super satisfied with these um, they're not going to require a bunch of sanding or filling I'm still going to do that just because that's what I do is make my life hell by uh, repeatedly filling and sanding fillets until they look absolutely flawless but these ones are not going to require a whole lot of extra effort but uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the tape get you guys a closer look at these now the reason I like using West Systems is because with filler it's very light and fluffy once it's finished it sands almost like body filler which is good because that's actually what's going to be getting on top of them but it gives you a chance to use just the epoxy and really shape them into what you want but uh yeah so that's how i make my fillets um you guys get the idea i'm not gonna make a video of doing the other two sets because you know how it works however so while this video is not a super long or involved one the next one is likely to be because it is going to be me demonstrating how I get my fillets to look like this and uh, my dad does it as well we uh, we kind of take pride in the uh, the really nice looking fillet game I did not used to but after watching my dad do it with uh, the four inch dark star he built for his level two like 12 years ago at this point and uh, growing into a little bit more patient of a person than I used to be go figure I was a teenager um so we kind of we kind of take our time and craft this stuff so what I'm going to do is show you guys how I shape these fillets after they dry how I fill them and how I get them smooth in the whole painting process although that'll probably be a separate video but the next video is going to be shaping and sanding and smoothing my fillets so that when I get the final paint job done they look like those rockets over there but for now, gotta let these bad boys dry. Thank you for once again tuning into another Rocket Vlogs video. Uh, if you wanna help out the channel, keep these videos coming and keep these rockets getting built and hopefully flown next year. Crossing our fingers that we get to actually have some big launches next year. Uh, we got my first end motor on its way. So, should be pretty cool. I'm gonna try and bring you guys as many uh, launch content videos as next year will allow me to. Maybe make a couple trips. I plan on going to LDRS Airfest probably maybe midwest power i want to get up to nxrs in oregon again and um a couple of triple e idaho launches but uh yeah check out rocketvlogs.com we have merch over there and uh, if you aren't subscribed be sure to hit the subscribe button turn on the notifications yada 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 you guys know all the youtube tropes but uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a good day